Let's get started. Let's see what's here in Tanzania. Welcome to our home for the next few days. Party. Let's see what is Ireland has to offer more. But um, now in Paji Beach, it looks wonderful. If you want to do kite surfing or anything like that, you see behind all oh, it's a beautiful kite surfing spot. It's wonderful here. The beach, the weather is amazing. The beach is so blue. It's windy. I hope you can hear my voice clearly. But it's such an amazing, great spot. We we gonna discover this beach. Just walk around here, enjoy it, have a beer. Back to Mashavi because that's where we stay. We are either gonna take the local bus here or we are hitchhiking now. Anna is gonna stop that car right now. Look, that car is gonna stop. If it actually would stop, would be amazing. Because, um, is it yes, it is stopping. Jesse explained to the driver what hitchhiking is. Well, they don't really know what hitchhiking is. So I'm trying to explain them the concept of hitchhiking. Twenty dollars, and I'll we'll drop you up. Yeah, but uh, we don't give a damn. Because here's also there's also a local bus station, and the local bus station will take us there for like fifty cent each. But we kind of don't want to wait for the bus. No, for fifty cent both. Ah, for fifty cent both is, is a bus here. So we're happy to take the fifty cent bus. We'll take a twenty twenty dollar cab. But uh, if the bus comes, we take. But bus you can pay by card, which is not often, but from the few moments you can pay by card, they charge a 5% fee. So the bank, I recommend it. And here's one ATM in Moye. I will write it down in the description. They charge like uh, $4 in fee, get a lot of cash at once, and uh, it evens out a bit. Um, and now, because of this season, uh, all hotels, lodges, everything is so fully booked because this is one of the few places that it really open. Your yeah, parties, everything is. Life is good here in Zanzibar, but a lot of people want to enjoy this good life. A lot of tourists, a lot of things happening. We are now arrived in a new place. Place this time in Paji, this more the party area, more the center of this part of the island. You look, this is a hostel which is 15 euro a night, which is actually for us now the most expensive place because we stayed at places for below 30 euro and got a private room. But here's a pool, so looks lovely, beautiful. So, well, let's enjoy. This is now our hostel for the night. Actually, um, very beautiful here. The best part about this right now is um, they're fully booked, but uh, this uh, private room is still available, so they were overbooked. But we got a free upgrade. I'm not complaining. Look at this uh, beauty. Anybody wants to go there, go to Zanzibar. Nice place, nice area, super beautiful hostel, private rooms here. Here it's new jumbo bungalow. Pretty great. Now in the evening and in normal days, this is just 
water. There's a beach and here's the sea. Now, the water is so damn far away. Pretty cool to see this. Eh? Now it's soon, uh, New Year's Eve, it's the 31st of uh, December and I'm on a mission to find some drinks. Well, I know very much in the city center of Paje, that's where it sells. That's uh, in their supermarket, in touristic supermarket, their only place I can find alcohol so far, so i Meshavi, there, they're just a small market, like any small market you can see on the street here. They sell uh, their local alcohol, Kanjaki. Is something like any kind of liquor, vodka, rumish thing. Cool street food here, it's pretty cool. Uh, an omelette, so they will make an omelette with spice for me here, and then have some like barbecue things. I love it so. And it's in dollars, uh, two and a half dollar or two dollars, something like that. So that's very great. Restaurants are kind of not that expensive, but a good meal in a restaurant would you set back like ten dollars. Oh, it's amazing. Actually, the second time I'm gonna eat this today is very good. I love it. Probably not the last time. It's really cheap and uh, very nutritious. So. <sighs> Thing with these ATMs here, uh, they most of the time uh, do not have cash. Like so far, every time I went there, only one time I was able uh, to get my cash, which is goddamn annoying. And uh, there's another ATM if you go a bit further in a petrol station, but they charge like uh, way too expensive fee. This is a cheap ATM. Uh, but unfortunately most of the time it's not working now we're here um, we're gonna go to the safari blue we're about to in the end there's an amazing barbecue well we'll also go snorkeling so i'll make some videos enjoy the ride what is happening here it is a uh, 35 dollars which is like 28 euros uh 80 000 shillings so let's see what's worth it what are we gonna do in the background there's anna making her video and she's also making a vlog, so uh, go check it out. water this whole damn thing was just no water at all there's a lava bridge you see people are still can walk through it but normally later it will be totally filled with water as well and this one among the oldest tree here it's about 300 now it's fallen and the tree lying on the ground uh, what's the name of this kind of traditional tree? It's, uh, it's called Baba. Okay. Uh, in, in Swahili, it's Mbuyu. And it's more like a fallen tree that became, uh, that the whole tree became a leaf. How the lobsters hide. You can see his tail right here in this hole. The water just came. there is one thing about this tour you see it's so touristic and usually I don't do this way to touristic things this is now a special occasion but um, 
here's like only this part here's a boat a new boat is entering there is our boat behind it is another boat and another boat and another boat and it feels like this whole organized thing but it's still an enjoyable beautiful wonderful day right anna SIM cards here because the Wi-Fi in most places if they exist is not that good some places are manageable some places are electricity falls out on again so it's all unreliable scenarios in Zanzibar and maybe also in the rest of Tanzania um, so I'm now bought a SIM card with Zentel mobile there are plenty of places where you can buy a SIM card here in Paji probably even more in downtown and if you arrive at the airport, then I will just now tell you the prices, what I paid for um, here in the city. And then you can decide yourself where it's more profitable to buy a SIM card. Now, what I did in, in Paje, I uh, bought a one monthly package for 40,000 Tanzanian shillings, what is uh, $20. And they charged me $5 or 10 Tanzanian shillings for uh, the SIM card itself. So right now I have a package of 20 gigabytes for $25. I'm not too sure if I have the best deal. You can probably find uh, somewhere, some places cheaper, but this is what I got. And if I uh, find a way how it is cheaper or would be cheaper, a different way, I will, uh, well, <laughs> you will hear it somewhere in this vlog. We're in Stone Town, it is the capital of Zanzibar. This doesn't feel like a touristic area anymore. This is just a whole other island vibe, which is pretty cool here in the main street. They have like a, a lot of shops sell everything there. Very cool. GPS coordinates to our hotel and we ended up in this market. This is the regular road to our hotel. Follow me. We're now taking the ferry to uh, Dal Er Salam. It uh, is $35 to take this ferry. It's better to pay the uh, in uh, US dollars because the exchange rate is not that good and the problem is you have to pay everything by cash. So if you before go to Tanzania, have some US dollars, that will help you a lot. 